Good morning. Now, those charges bring the spotlight back on Michael Madigan once again. The people that are indicted are close associates with the politician. Here's what we know so far. According to court documents, the four people facing the criminal charges include ComEd lobbyists Michael McLean, Jay Daugherty, and John Hooker, along with former chief executive Ann Prima Jury. They're accused of falsifying company records and creating off-book accounts to conceal or disguise payments made in an eight-year-long corruption scheme. Michael Madigan has not been charged and denies wrongdoing. ComEd admitted to the scheme and agreed to pay a $200 million fine and cooperate with investigators. Here's how Michael Madigan could be tied to this indictment. Court documents allege that the four conspired to influence and reward Madigan, who's named only as public official A, by funneling contracts and jobs to his political allies and workers in exchange for his help in passing legislation that was favorable to the utility company. And because of this, GOP leader Jim Durkin is once again saying Madigan should step down. Gatekeeper Mike McLean and also key executives in ComEd clearly established that Mike Madigan uh, had ComEd in his back pocket and both of them benefited from each other. I'm doing the same thing I did over the summer. I'm calling for his resignation, not as, as a party chairman, but as Speaker of the House of Representatives and from the General Assembly. Michael McLean's team has released this statement following the announcement of the indictment, saying the charges filed today by the United States Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Illinois are a result of a misguided investigation and misapplication of the law driven by an obvious desire to find some way to criminally implicate a current elected official who happens to be Mike McLean's longtime friend. And as of right now, no court date has been filed just yet, but we are hearing that GOP leader Jim Durkin is expected to have a press conference to discuss this case later on this afternoon. For now, we're live outside of the federal building. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.